Hey everybody, this is Jeff and Mike, also known as the Interview Guys, and today we've got another video for you in our Job Interview Tips video series. And in this short video, you're going to get an easy three-step process for getting the most out of your job descriptions. You see, most people don't use their job description properly. They just tend to read it once, decide that they're qualified, and then they often just toss it aside. But we want to show you how all the top interviewees in the world use their job description as the basis for all of their job interview preparation. So what we've done today is we've taken three different job descriptions from three different companies. We've got uh, Target, we've got Lowe's, and we've got Kroger. So we're going to assume that you guys have seen job descriptions before, but we'll give you a quick rundown of the outline of what they normally look like. Generally speaking, uh, they're broken down into four sections. Um, you've got the, the top section here, oops, the top section here, uh, which is the general information, which normally outlines the, the job title, the department, um, things like that, mission statement about the company. Um, then you've got the middle section, which you can see here which is no normally the essential functions, responsibilities, things that is are expected of you day to day on the job, which is right here, which outlines what they expect, the qualifications they expect you to have. And then finally, down below, quite often they'll have a benefits or a salary section where they list what the, the salary and the benefits are. Okay, step number one in the three-step process is to take a look at your job description and compile a list of the required knowledge, skills, and abilities that they lay out for you. and. So taking the Kroger job description as, as an example, we scroll down to the behavior slash skills section. You can see that they've very nicely laid out the things that they're looking for in an employee. So it's even bolded, puts the customer first, communicates effectively and candidly, achieves results through teamwork. So the first thing you want to do is record all this information. I and mean, this is this should be your starting point. A lot of people just throw out the job description they and they kind of, you know, take a quick glance at it, decide that they're right for the job and then move on, but this stuff is great information that you need to to use throughout your entire preparation for your interview. And if we take a look at uh, Lowe's here, uh, you get the same kind of stuff, essential functions and responsibility, uh, manages assigned product groups according to the financial goals and objectives set by senior management. Um, riveting reading. Um, so, so as you can see, so that's the first step you want to do. You want to want to go through your job description and just get down all the information that they're supposed that they're clearly that they've clearly laid out in terms of what they're looking for. Now, step number two is. You want to go back over the job description and do a little bit more digging. We call it reading between the lines because you can find a lot more uh, of the desired strengths and skills that they're looking for in uh, in some of the sections. It, they just might not be as clear as the as the initial ones you might find. So, for example, if we look at the target example, take a look at this point here. Be main point of contact with guest contact center to ensure timely and thoughtful guest response strategies, process, and experience. Okay, so the difference here is that. Uh, whereas before it just jumped off the page, the quality and the skill that they were looking for and that you that they required of you. Here, this is more. It's 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 a, a description of what you need to do. You need to be the point of contact with the guest the guest contact center, but it doesn't really hit you over the head with the the skill or the ability that's required in order to get the job done. But of course, we're smart people, so we we read between the lines and we decide that you know what might help to get this job done is a high level of interpersonal skills. So that would be an example of something you would need to dig a little deeper to get but the information is just as valuable and just as important for you to bring up later. Why is this important? Because it's this little extra step here that your competition is not going to be doing. You're gathering even more qualities and skills and abilities that the company is looking for that makes up their perfect candidate. And if you, the more of those you find, the better picture you can paint of yourself as being that perfect candidate. So that brings us to step number three. Step number three, we're going to bring everything together that you found in your in your analysis of the job description. So all the obvious skills and abilities and all the unobvious skills and abilities. And you're going to use those to answer all of your interview questions. And one of the best ways to do this is to use success stories. So what is a success story? Well, it's simply a story from your past work or personal life that highlights an achievement and reflects one of your strengths. So what you want to do is you want to take one of your success stories and infuse it with the knowledge, skill, and ability that you possess, that you found in the job description. So all the stuff that we just found, you're going to connect that to a success story that highlights that strength. And the last and most crucial step is that you want to frame your entire answer around the job you're interviewing for. This will allow them to see you in the position already. 
Okay, so this would probably be easier to understand if you had an example. So using the target example from before and the question, what is your biggest strength? You'd begin by choosing a strength or two that you discovered through your research to be of value to target. For example, in this case, it would be great to choose one of the strengths that was obvious and one of the strengths that you had to dig a little deeper for. So one of the obvious ones that I found is right here, demonstrate ex demonstrated experience thinking critically and recommending strategic decisions. So critical thinking, let's just say that's one of the more obvious ones that we choose. Um, the second one would be this example from before that we had to dig for, which was the interpersonal skills. Right there. So then you would take these two strengths and you would add them to one of your success stories. For example, when I worked in customer service for the XYZ company, I'd receive up to 200 calls a day from clients with a wide range of problems and an even wider range of personalities. This required me to have to think critically to be able to provide solutions to the many different problems they had, but also required a high level of interpersonal skills to be able to adapt to the different personalities. I believe that my five-star customer service rating exemplified these two personal strengths, which I believe will be very important in my role as social media community manager with Target. Okay, so do you see what I did there? I took the first quality that was obvious, I took the second quality that we had to dig for, I took the success story, which was the um, XYZ company, 200 calls a day, five star rating, and then at the very end I said, this will be important in my role as social media community manager with Target, which frames it all in the future with you already having the position, and like we said before, that makes the interviewer already see you in that role. Okay, so to recap, the best way to get the most out of your job description is to use our three-step process, which includes, number one, reading the job description and compiling a list of all the company's most desired qualities, including knowledge, skills, and abilities. Number two, read between the lines to find more qualities that are not as obvious. And then number three, match the qualities you find with a success story when you answer a question in the interview and frame your answer around the job you're interviewing for. So we've given you the method for getting the most out of your job description, but you may feel like you need some more examples or a more thorough explanation of how it all works. So we've written a free special report that explains the whole process and gives you a proven method to answering any interview question perfectly, including how to answer the three toughest questions you'll ever have to face. Now you can get the report by simply clicking on the button on the next screen. So all you have to do is click the blue button now and uh, you'll get instant access to your free report. This is Jeff and Mike, the interview guys, saying thanks for watching.